Today on What It Looks Like Homemade, we are excited to watch the Pittsburgh Steelers beat down on the Kansas City Chiefs in the big game coming up. Boy, it's gonna be a great one. And to get us started, we're gonna make some honey hot chicken wings. I'm gonna show you exactly the how to make it. The Steelers aren't in the Super Bowl. You know what, that's right. I got ahead of myself, I'm thinking about next year. <laughs> the Steelers not in it this year, but they'll be back next year. Well, I'm still going to show you how to make some honey hot wings that's going to be perfect for your Super Bowl gathering, your Super Bowl party, or just even if you're not watching the game, you just want to have some honey hot wings. Today is your day to learn how to make it, and it's going to be fantastic. All right, listen, here we go. You don't know how to cook, I'ma teach you now. Stir fry, cheesecake, apple pie. Get your mind right, you ain't gotta ask why. I can do this all night, let me show you how. Everything tastes good when you follow me. Make your friend ask, can I get the recipe? We turn lemons into lemonade. Get your cooking skills and upgrade on what it looks like, homemade. What it looks like, homemade. What it looks like, homemade. Okay, so now, of course, to get started, first thing we need, of course, is our chicken. So we're gonna start with our chicken wings here, and we're gonna take a one tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna drip it over here. We're gonna mix it in here so that we can coat the chicken really nicely here. It's gonna allow the seasoning that we're gonna put on there to stick to it as we get before we get ready to bake it. So when you're making chicken wings, don't just put them in the oven or put them in the fryer. Add some seasoning to it. That's gonna make it taste a lot better than just plain, bland chicken wings. Like you don't want your sauce to be the only flavor that you get, that you taste from the chicken. Okay, now that we've got the chicken coated with the uh, olive oil, we're gonna add in our Sazon Tropical Seasoning. I really, really like the way this seasoning tastes with chicken, it is fantastic. So what we're gonna do is add two tablespoons of the Sazon Tropical Seasoning. Just gonna mix it in here, and then we're gonna use our hands and just mix it in there really good and get it coated over all pieces of chicken so that it can be nice and tasty it can come out delicious, which is what we always want here at What It Looks Like Homemade. It's got to be delicious. <laughs> All right, there we go, get that in there. Use the hands, don't be afraid to get dirty. Mix it all around. It's gonna be, this is really, really easy. Even wait till we get to the sauce and you see how easy it is to make the sauce, you're gonna be amazed. All right, so now we got the chicken nice and coated. So again, that was one tablespoon of olive oil, and two tablespoons of the Sazon Tropical Seasoning. All right, now we're already ready to put it in the oven. We started the oven at 400 degrees, and we're gonna bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna place it on a rack. And the reason why we're gonna place it on a rack and bake it in the oven is that when you elevate your chicken, it allows it to get crispy in the oven. That way we don't have to use any oil, no, no deep frying and all that stuff to add more calories or just make it a little bit unhealthy. So baking the, the chicken wings is the way to go. And I like to put foil on my pan. It just helps with the cleanup, makes it a little bit easier because when it's done and all that chicken juice is down here on the pan, I just take the foil ball up Throw it in the trash, good to go. <laughs> so we got our, our rack here, we got our foil, we got our pan, we're just gonna start placing the chicken one by one on the rack. Leave a little space in between so that the air can circulate all around it. Here I think I have about 13 wings we're gonna make. Of course, this is just batch one, right? You can make quite a bit of wings for this, especially with the amount of sauce we're gonna have, which you will see here in just a second, because we're gonna make that while the wings are baking. Room, make room for one more. Scoot those over. There we go. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 wings we're gonna bake in the oven for 20, well, about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so now it's time to make our sauce. And what we need is some hot sauce. And I like the uh, Louisiana brand hot sauce here the most, uh, primarily because I think it's not like it's super, super hot. 
And when I add the honey to it, it has a nice flavor to it. Uh, it has a nice kick to it and it blends really, really well with the honey. So the Louisiana brand hot sauce is my choice uh, for this recipe, but use whatever brand of hot sauce you like. I just like to go with this one. So we need exactly one cup of the hot sauce. We're gonna pour that right into our bowl here, one cup of hot sauce. And then, because it's so hot, right, for hot sauce, you also need some honey to kind of diffuse that hotness. And we're gonna use two cups of honey. Now I bought the honey that is uh, exactly 16 ounces. Then I'll have to measure honey and I gotta try to pour it out of, a, out, of, out of a container or try to scoop it out. I can just dump it right from the bottle. So that's what I would recommend is get you a 16 ounce container of honey and then you don't have to measure anything. You can just pour it right into your uh, hot sauce here. Look at that. Get all that out. And I kind of like to get as much of it out as I can, but that should be plenty. And this is, I'm telling you, this recipe is awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to whisk it together until you can't really feel the honey inside of the hot sauce anymore. Because right now it's pretty thick. It is pretty thick. And you got to be careful too because the honey is so thick, you can't just go and just start whisking like you're doing an egg. <laughs> you do that, you're going to get hot sauce everywhere. So just get it mixed in there. Do it a little bit slowly, a little gentle. You're going to see, you see the difference in color between where the honey is and where the hot sauce is. So you want to get all of that blended in there nice. And it's starting to get darker in color as well. So that's another sign that you can tell it's starting to get it mixed in there. And it's getting easier and easier to whisk it. So now we're going to get it a lot better. See, now I can whisk a little faster because the honey has already started to blend in with the hot sauce. And that's what you want, this nice, dark color. Oh my goodness, it smells wonderful. It smells really, really good. All right, I think that's about ready. The next thing we want to do is add our sauce into a saucepan and we want to heat it up until it reaches boiling temperature. Once it starts to boil, we can turn it off. You sort of stir it up. And now we can turn this off. It is nice and boiling here just fine. And now that we've turned it off, we're just going to let it sit on the stove here. We're not going to have it on any heat or anything like that. We're just going to let it sit and, and simmer down. Okay, so now our wings are fresh out the oven. They are nice and hot and crispy. Oh my goodness, look at this right here. Look at how good they look. Oh man, look at that. They look extra crispy, actually. They look so good, so good. You can see the seasoning on there, look at that. And that foil, how it helped to catch the drip from the pan. Uh, you can't beat it, you cannot beat it. Okay, so now we're gonna take our tongues and we're gonna put them all into our bowl here so that we can get ready to mix them up in our sauce. And then it's time to watch the Steelers beat the Cats. Oh no, wait, that's next year. I keep forgetting. That is next year. So okay, we'll be back. We'll be back. Here we go. Put all those into our bowl. And these little hot, uh, hot placemat uh, holders right here, these things are perfect. They, they're really great. Saves your surface, your countertop from getting any heat on there. You can put things right from the oven, right on top of here. It's fantastic. Okay, so now we have our sauce. It's still in our pan here. Uh, it's, it's not hot, hot anymore. It was it's perfect. We're just going to pour it right over our chicken, and then we're going to start stirring it up. You don't want to use the whole thing. You want to kind of do it in stages. Now, if you like yours extra wet, that's one thing, but we're going to just kind of Mix it in and get my tongues back. Mix them in there real good. See how good you can see that. Flip them all around. And mixed in there. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. And that sauce, get that all mixed in there. Oh, don't that look good? That is looking fantastic. Wow, this is the perfect set of wings to have while you are watching the Steelers beat up on the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh my goodness, they look so delicious. And that sauce, mm, mm, mm. I am ready to eat and watch the game. And now you know it, it is time for my favorite part, the taste test. 
Oh man, this wing looks so good. Oh goodness, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my god. This is fantastic. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. The kick from the hot sauce, the honey. Oh, it blends so well. The seasoning on here. When you make this uh, chicken recipe for your Super Bowl party, oh man, make sure you told them you found it at what it looks like, homemade. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.